Hello, not here. Oh, welcome back to Path of Exile. We're playing in the Bestiary League with a Marauder that eventually will become a Spectral Shield Throw Juggernaut. We're standing in the middle of the Menagerie. We sacrificed Uzbek Bloom in the last episode. And afterwards, I'm afraid it's something interesting to say. Hello? So let's have a listen. The end is coming, Exile. Of that, I'm sure. Just not so sure when. Maybe tomorrow? Maybe three years from now? No more than three years from now. When the end arrives, we must be ready. The first ones will return. They will bring the survivors with them to the Great Grove. We must prove we are worthy. We must sacrifice the beasts we find at the Blood Altar. Feed the altar the blood of these beasts, and the first ones will bless us. And, perhaps, reveal to us their secrets. So, he kept stressing three years. No more than three years. The end is coming. Could that be some foreshadowing of something that will eventually come in the future? Nope, some kind of large... 4.0 expansion where at the end will come. The uh, no grinding games is definitely not above foreshadowing things like that. So I, I'm wondering if if this is foreshadowing or this is just no oh, the dude being mad. Oh, also um, maybe I should capture you. Yeah. You have been captured, beast. Any moment now. Oh, corrupted swarmers, I can't catch them. Aww. Is that because they are corrupted? Or because they are not beastly enough? Oh, yeah, there. I have... Hey totem, I should be using my totem. Very nice having the backup of a totem to just smash things to bits. If anything goes past me, then the totem will catch it. Also, totems don't run out of mana, which is useful at times. Uh, okay. Ooh, found another Quicksilver Flask. Uh, same Buckler. Oh no, wait, we actually upgraded to a Corroded Tower Shield. Uh, for us, it's not all that exciting, but oh, we're on this level too. Hello. But he could buy more nets, but I think for now we're fine. And we'll see about just moving on with the game a little bit. More. Ooh, another three link. I do appreciate a three links. So there's going to be two things down here. One, of course, is the uh, descent down into the uh, cavern of the Deep Dweller. The other one is the uh, road leading out. Um, if we push this hard, hard enough, we can just go back to the portal and then use that to find the Deep Deep Dweller. From the oh wait, but so let's do a little bit of speed running. Oh, squid! Yep, nope. zapping squids, killing squids, zapping squid, killing squids. You have been captured, beast. You okay. will be a survivor. Or zapping. You will be food. Yes. Right. Pretty well here, <laughs> capturing a lot. So how many Einars do we have capture, uh, have queued up here now? Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four are queued up. This one is captured. will take it. I wonder if the devs are gonna make him more efficient to just grab everything 
and turn it into blood orbs that is in the area this to speed this up guys as you can see this this could get a little bloodless and i actually would like to buy new uh new nets Greetings. purchase nets three oh, one two so just goodbye Okay, zapping one, zapping another one. This one is captured. I now will take it. Okay, good. Right. And ah, I've got enough. You are captured. Einhar can do his thing. The question here is: Do they count as captured when he takes them away, or when? I actually no seal the deal. Okay. Climbing up to the ledge, we got a portal to go back, so let's head over to the waypoint and then return. Because we're now on a street timer. Oh, hello there. Oh, you have a spectral swipe. Oh, I was too early with throwing my net. Ah, yes. Okay, I can use it again. Yes. Ooh, capture the good man. The first ones look upon this capture with pride, exile. You hunt well. I hadn't expected the goodman to be capturable, given that they are humanoids, but. Don't hear me complaining about that. But on the map there was a, an icon to indicate that this was uh, something special. And it did have special powers. Okay, that's the level 6 area. I'm 7, so... I can get away with just running a little more, just throwing some orbs into larger groups and then just moving on. And there we are, one away point. So then we go back to town, and then we take the portal. And then we find the way down. Which looks like is over there. Captured a regular mob. <laughs> you are captured, stupid beast. Cool. Hello. I can only buy things from him right now. Can't sell things to him. In the in the menagerie, you can also sell stuff to him. It would be incredibly convenient if you had just a uh, a pop-up merchant to just empty your pockets wherever you went. So I guess that could be exploitatively easy for mapping because then one portal is all you need yellow icon here so assuming that is a rare yep so yep through the nets good i was in time with that yeah unidentified wants a uh, rare scepter with spell damage drifting ice Yep, nice. Didn't have one of those yet. <laughs> you are captured, stupid beast. Cool. Level up all the things. You have been captured. Oh, and it's early in the you league, so I might as well just or grab all the blue items. Okay, but so far. One of those uh, slightly more special ones in, in an area works. I think I captured something else. There we are. Wait, I want to grab that one. Yes. Siren's Pole, that's a little larger. Wait, is that a, some sort of icon? No, that's just the entrance. Eventually, it, it's become more, become more logical 
know whether you want to prioritize grabbing only the uh, the rare ones or if you want to grab regular white mobs as well. But I was thinking though. Large splitter. Yeah, that's one form. The other form also was separately capturable. To grab the top form. Nice. See? I wanna. Oh, there's no beastie I can hear, so I can't capture the deep dweller. You will be a survivor, or you will be food. No, can't throw. That said, it, you know this is of. Oh, ah, the uh, smaller form I can capture. It's probably to prevent cheesing the fight. Okay, throwing a net at it and then finishing it off. Haha! -ha. Oh, leveling item. A rare coral ring with maximum life. So I need more shield grabs. Create a rare unidentified rare weapon. That's a dagger. Okay. Okay, so. If you're killing one, one shotting regular mobs, that might be a little more tricky. So, bugger off. Getting a lot of recipes here. Hey, can't capture the crustacean sniper. Oh, uh. Hmm. Prepared for the end. Why is that? Ah, this is the rare that I captured earlier, including all of its rare mods. So, of course, when sacrificing it, that's going to come up again. Potentially could be dangerous if you add a rare switch. Uh, mods that enhance each other. Especially, you know, Nemesis mobs could be fun. Okay, so I've got four rock spitters and we're at two out of 14. So, still plenty of space. Two out of eight. wonder if the icon is going to be crossed out or something to indicate that you're full. Well, by the way, we are kind of done here. Coral amulet. Do I have one yet? This is actually worse than what I had. Well, oh, not again. I might well sell it with the rest. Now, if you're going to be buying a lot of nets like this, then it stands to reason that I'll need a lot of ID scrolls as well to buy them. What well, skill points? Um, might as well just ID some of the weapons here to see if they are upgrades. Um, it's more armor. This one is not more damage from the looks of it, so we can just sell it. And this one, 6 to 22. That is uh, an upgrade over what I have. So this one goes double check. We're using Molten Strike. Doesn't say any uh, specific weapon type, so we can just use a whatever with it. This one had links, this one did not, but slightly better armor. For now, it's an upgrade. Okay, so, so, so short term goal is solidity. On the way though, we have diamond skin, which is good for some early... Uh, what you gonna call it? Some early resistances and might as well just sell this one stay sharp out there eventually we will switch out to blood magic so then the uh, mana flask can be replaced with a utility flask until that point though hello nope. ah here here we can sell stuff and here we can buy stuff oh actually if we sell one of these we get four id scrolls which in turns Allows me to buy a couple more stacks of these. <laughs> oh, we had a recipe. We had something that was an upgrade, I think. Pretty long load time for the menagerie. Or maybe the servers are just down. Or maybe it was just bad luck. Launch weekend has supposedly, it was, was pretty stable so far. I hope it's gonna remain. Okay, this is slowly turning into something that is uh, looking like a crafting recipe. Uh, 
Ah, unusable because I don't have all the items yet. So what could we potentially craft right now? A coral ring with max life. That is pretty nice early on. And we can fight the Deep Dweller again. And it's going to be a level 6 item. So the items like these after capturing the rare, going to craft it seems like the best. Because if you do it in 5 or 10 levels, the item is going to be irrelevant because it's going to be low level. So you could almost look at this as getting extra rare drops out of a boss if you just defeat it another time. I like it. Ooh, to the first ones you are worthy, exile. Yeah. And this one, of course, summons more. Fun times. Okay, the there's some uh, is complete. interesting extra stuff. And we got ourselves a fancy new ring. Sweet. Hey, didn't it say... Maximum life. The crafted mod is maximum life. No. Wait, what? The implicit is not maxed out and the healthy mod is also not maxed out. I feel like I've been lied to. This is not maximum life. Shame on you devs. Shame on you. Sounds like a bug. Oh, spell damage here. Oh, if you have something with a, a rare mob with crushing claws, then we can do the spell damage claw crafting. Yep. yep, yep, yep. I like it. I like it a lot. Yep. Hello. You can have my old ring. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> After thinking, it's probably useful if you have your stash here, so you can you know, swap things in and out of your stash. But on the other hand. I guess this counts as an instance and the devs are kind of picky about not allowing um, stash interactions in instances. So chances are pretty small that we're going to get that. Follow the direction with the little totems on the floor. Ooh, rustic sash with some damage. What's the specific weapon? Increase global physical damage. Also seems like the uh, use of the word uh, global has been consistently applied now. Something I'm very happy about. Yeah, let's uh, grab diamond skin while leveling. It is amazing. Eventually, you now once we get to the later game, we can just get rid of it and assign the skill point to something else. Oh, hello there. Ooh, that's a spectral horde attack something. Looks dangerous. Okay, throw a net. Yep, it's zapping, it's dead. You are well prepared for the end. This is a fine capture. Okay, it's crafting something with a bow. So, this build is very, very tanky. I should be able to just stand around facing enemies. And then just nope, putting a net on over their face and weakening them. If you're playing more of a glass cannon build, I wonder how this league is going to treat you. Because if you can't tank enemies, but you do have to uh, hang around a little bit to weaken them, but not too much, it could potentially be dangerous. Could potentially be dangerous. That's a lot of armor. It's a lot more armor than I have here. Also, I don't have enough links, so we'll see. And then you. And we continue. So we'll face down the uh, goat boss something in the next area. I wonder if the goat boss is capturable. And of course, the Brian King. Could I capture the Brian King? I mean, it is a crab. So many questions. Oh, gluttonous gold. 
You'll be captured. Also an avian, I suspect. Okay, grabbing all of those. This one is captured. Einar will take it. Einar will take it. Okay, one totem dude. Let's see, put down our own totem, hit the thing over the head. And then we'll just run on. This one is captured. I now will take it. One Haku. We will of course help you. Find your missing spirits. Potentially get access to monsters I normally don't have access to. Cause a random area. In the ghosties we don't see until later. There's something on the map. Ooh, hello there. Okay, then we just throw the thing and then we shoot. Yeah. Haha, got him. But Wow. That's a big sweep. From the little one. Oh, he, he died too early. Or is that from the one that is. Uh, oh, wow, that's the crushing claws. I can't get to you yet. I will get to you. Yeah, man. There you are. I didn't notice the uh, crushing claws with previous ones. Okay. Aha, another recipe, rare ones with spell damage. Survivor, you are well prepared for the end. This is a okay. fine capture. Cool. <laughs> you are and then uh, the journey continues. See, you have a shell. Let's grab one of those as well. Because I think they are different from the other ones. And I don't think I had too many yet. You have been captured, beast. You will be a survivor. Or you will be hey. Okay, this is best here really it's, it's triggering all kinds of, of buttons. Well, it, there's something about it. No, like Pokemon, there's something like Monster Hunter. It's all good stuff. Let's uh, see. Well, yep, well, capture you as well. And then sprinkle some more balls over your face. And then you're gone. And we level up. More block shots. That is good. Ooh, blue squids. Well, don't think I've got blue ones yet. Oh, good timing. This one is yep. Got it. Okay. it. Might as well grab a third one. Yep, it is gone. Okay. And then one I've got I one remaining. So let's grab done for. That one for what we needed. You. So friendly of you to get running towards me. My spirit. There is no timer element, but we did get a blue one of these. And I need. Oh. Can I capture them? No, I cannot capture the uh, reawakened ones. That is unfortunate. Okay. I know. I want more nets. So. 
That works pretty well. The first ones are watching. Right, let's get back to the exit. Oof, I got a whole swarm of beasties with me now. I have self totem. Don't think you get XP for killing them again, so it's not really that much point to it. Let's uh, see, this gets us to the exit. Having double quicksilvers definitely makes the uh, Haku missions a lot easier because you can't use your movement skills in here even if you had them. One thing though, the uh, best relic, you know, catching all the monsters and then going to the blood altar and sacrificing things, it's definitely something that's gonna take up a little bit more time while leveling. So I suspect the uh, leveling process is gonna be a bit slower than normal. Simply because there is now more to do while leveling. Oh, shummy. Capture the shummy. Her. What? I've been captured, beast. You will be a survivor. That looks. Ooh, tiger prey. Okay, let's just uh, shock you, murder you. Yes. Survivor, you are well prepared for the end. This is a fine capture. Okay, capture another shummy. This one is captured. I now will take it. So the uh, pop-ups, if you have the... Uh, that's something I I've, uh, saw people complain about. Might as well actually mention it. Um, if you have the close or panels bound to something, by default I think it's spacebar, then if the uh, new recipe thing pops up and you're in the middle of a fight, hit spacebar, then the thing will disappear. Might potentially save your life if that is an issue you run into. Okay. Yeah, shummy, shummy. Yep, bye bye. Hey, you're a regular one. Kill you. Let's. You have been captured, beast. You will be a survivor. Hey. Right. Onwards to the unique goat. See if there's a recipe for the unique goat. Just this this simple thing of of capturing them, and you suddenly have an incentive to go after all the uniques in the game if they're PCs. And there's quite a lot of them, and there's probably even more that you even didn't even know about or completely forgot about. Uh, also, completely full of stuff. Let's actually empty some pockets. I mean, are there any beasties in the Dread Wicket, for example? I would, wouldn't know, but I suddenly have an incentive well, yeah. to go to the Dread Wicket. The Dread Wicket of all places. Nobody ever goes to the Dread Wicket. People get lost. Um, yeah, we can sell all the things. Oh, most of this. Oh, uh, yeah, I think actually we'll just sell, uh, end up selling most of the things here. Uh, claws are potentially useful. Yeah, for now we'll sell it. No, we'll get more currency for it and stuff like that. Are right, anything good here? Damage is a little lower, attack speed is a little higher, so that balances out. It's life on hits. Yep, yeah, it's actually not a not a bad one, so we'll uh, we'll do that. So 25 DPS becomes uh, ah, the int here is provided by the other one. Okay, that makes sense. So we'll just get rid of it for now since we can't use it. Intelligence and decks are gonna be a problem for this build, which is why as soon as I can get a, my hands on a, a hybrid amulet for those, I'll uh, grab it. Uh, for now, it is good. Go back to uh, the climb. Oh yeah, spirit chainmail. It's more armor. It's a little bit of energy shield even. Potentially useful. 
Oeh, blue goats. Oh, capture it. Yeah, good timing. Especially with the, the, the balls bouncing around. It's easy to have some of these stray ones just murder things that you intended. Yeah, see, first hit, nearly the kills it, and then it actually dies from the ball explosion. Oh, this is gonna be a slower playthrough than usual, but it's gonna be so much more fun than usual as well. Gotta catch them all. Okay. Grab another regular goat. Let's see. Yeah, might as well add a Xiaomi to the collection. Here now, anyway, right? Might as well. What? Uh, what's my status for for goats? This one is captured. Ah, so the most recent ones are shown at the top. That would be useful. Uh, if you click it, you don't go to the to the actual tab. So how do I see or know what it belongs to? Oh, the uh, one out of ten is for all the different types. So I've caught one out of the ten different types, and I've got five out of nineteen in total in storage. So this kind of optimizes for having two of each type. So yeah, I got seven. Seven chummies. But they all have their own space. Oh, okay. Well, if there's more space, then, well, you, you of course, me. come along. Iron point. Yep. It's not a BC, so I can't capture it. Otherwise, I would have. Well, the good thing is, this always marks the uh, point where it gets interesting. Yes. Ooh, see? The fawn is capturable. Nice. Oh, net. Yep. And now we murder it. <laughs> Quicksilver flask with adrenaline. Okay. Potentially useful. But we still have some uh, some nets, so we can just go on. Thank you. The valley is happy. So, what beasties do we have in the prison? Mostly undead down there, isn't it? Yes, I definitely like the way I'm thinking about monsters right now. Which ones can I capture? Where are more beasts? Gotta capture all the beasts. A slave is not even worthy of death. But that's gonna be for another time though. For now, let's go back to town, have a chat with the local people. Get a skill gem from Anessa. Added fire damage and melee splash. This one. Well, I think in the short term we could actually use melee splash for the ancestor protector, turn it into sort of kind of have a, a war chief. I think that's gonna be alright. And then we'll just. Oh. Hatchet, might as well have a quick look. No, the damage was too low. Also drop in replacement, but the sockets are off, so might as well actually just sell Take it. Care. Oh. Big upside, of course, of the early game is that you can just rush through it. Gear doesn't really matter too much. Um, but of course, all the upgrades that you get are useful no, not required but useful nonetheless i don't have to see any three links so for now we're fine stay sharp out there so 
the Wally is happy, so she got some coins, we can feed them to her. There's a bunch of new faded prophecies here, so I uh, have to see if I can just get prophecies a bit more into my rhythm than usual, but we have no coins, so that is easy. But for now, I think we made some, some pretty good progress. We are at the prison. I forgot about the climb waypoint, because I just went straight for the goal. Oh, wait. Actually, instead of ending it here, we captured the unique. Might as well sacrifice the unique. I think that could actually become a bit of a ritual. At the end of the episode, sacrifice all the uniques we captured. A quicksilver flask with adrenaline. I don't strictly need it. But hey, I can make it. And that's a good enough reason as any. To the first ones, you are worthy, exile. Okay, well, just wail away. But uh You are truly a survivor. Quicksilver flask with more movement than usual. Nice. Oh, and there's even a achievement for that. I must have been. I haven't even looked at the uh, challenges yet. Looks like we are just on the uh, on the guided path here. Air boots, air coral ring, quicksilver flask. Next up is going to be a magical colossal life flask of staunching. That's bleed removal. Air onyx amulet with all resistances. That is also very useful. And a rare four-linked item, that's also very useful. So, well, please keep feeding me re recipes and I'll keep sacrificing things to the old ones. For now though, I'm going to thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again next episode. Bye bye.